Welcome to Control. In this video, we will learn how to create and implement parallel, automated, and common transitions in blueprints. Parallel transitions. If a task in your business requires more than one action to be performed to move to the next stage of the process, you can use parallel transitions. Here, the transitions Select Tax Return Plan and Upload Proof of Investment are parallel transitions. To move to the next stage, Tax Return Review in Progress, it is necessary that both of these transitions are executed. To create a parallel transition, hover over a transition name and click this icon. Toggle the Parallel Transition option to Yes and click the Add button. You can now add up to four parallel transitions between your stages and then publish the orchestration. If you have an independent transition between two stages, you can also convert it as the parallel transition. Hover over an existing parallel transition, click on Associate, and choose the independent transition from the dropdown. Next, let us learn how to create common transitions. Common transitions are transitions that can be accessed from multiple stages in a blueprint. For example, when an employee raises a tax request, the HR may reject the e-filing form at certain checkpoints based on the tax criteria. Create a transition for Reject Form and enable the Common Transition option. Then select the stages that the common transition should be available for. Now, the tax return can be rejected from any of the selected stages. Next, let us look at automated transitions. You can either automate transitions based on time or by condition. Time-based automation allows transitions to take place automatically after a set time frame. For example, you can process the tax returns to be credited in the employee's bank account automatically within 10 days. To execute this, select the Receive Tax Returns transition and click Who can perform this transition in the Before section. Select Automated by Time from the dropdown Enter the time frame that the transition should be performed after. The tax return will be credited within 10 days. Condition-based automation allows transitions to take place when a specific condition is satisfied. For example, if you wish to automate the Receive Tax Returns transition by a specific condition, select Automated by Condition from the dropdown and set a suitable condition. The reimbursement will be processed if the amount is more than $100. Otherwise, it will be adjusted in the next payday. We hope that this video was helpful in understanding the concepts of parallel, common, and automated transitions. So what are you waiting for? Use transitions and control to streamline your business processes. To learn more about using blueprints, check the link in the description below.